Last but not least, what? Weast? Diane Weast? No. What's up, witches? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Hag Swag unboxing. Oh yeah, this is May's box. I know we're in July, but uh, I got a little busy. If you didn't see my last video, it's an introduction to my daughter. Blue, get out of the garbage. Hey, get out of the garbage. Okay, sorry about that. If you didn't see my last video, it is an introduction to my daughter. Uh, hence why I haven't been on my channel lately. And uh, I'd like to apologize in advance. You know it's coming. Uh, all my pets are around. And my baby's here too. She's uh, helping me out, right Luna? Yeah, she's silent right now, but that's good. <laughs> Anyway, so I have quite a few distractions going on, so if I get interrupted or you hear weird noises in the background, it's probably one of the four things happening that are pretty loud. Actually, Morty's outside, so it's only three. <laughs> it's only three at the moment. Anyway, I'm so eager to get into these boxes. These boxes have been sitting on my kitchen table for so long, and I'm just itching to get into them, so... Let's get into them. We're hitting up with May's, uh, May's box here, which is tree magic. I'm very excited to see what this entails. Uh, tree magic sounds very intriguing. <laughs> oh, that's awful. All right, so in this box is included a rough tree agate, hawthorn leaf and flower. Sorry. Ooh, that's a pretty sticker. Ooh, oh, sorry. Oh God, Ig, Yggdrasil. I would assume that's how that's pronounced, but I'm not 100%. Yggdrasil, I don't know. Like it though. Ooh, there's something from Witch, the Witch Down the Lane in this box. Very excited for that. And we've got May 2021's Grimoire page. Let's see what we're doing today. Tree Spirit Journey. Communicating with the trees is easier than one may think. With practice and dedication, we are able to sit in communication with the spirits of the trees and learn from their ancient wisdom. Trees have a sacred connection with all divinity, both the cosmos and the earth itself, yielding tangible energy and magic for those who are willing to learn how to use it. This practice is essentially a targeted meditation, opening your own heart and spirit up to the messages coming from the tree or tree medicine that you are sitting with. In traditional tree magic customs, especially in Celtic of Celtic origin, it's believed that each tree has its own spirit called a dry, dryad. Hmm. They can offer you knowledge, companionship, and friendship, protection, and more. Ooh. That's cool. Beautiful. I am excited to try this tree spirit journey. We do have a lot of trees here. Also, I noticed that this page was kind of shaky as I'm holding it. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I'm, I only have the one hand right now because the other hand is holding my kid. <laughs> she did not want to be put down. She likes to be held, so I have to hold her. So she is here. Um, anyway, let's get into the box itself. Okay, so first inspection of the box, uh, this immediately grabbed my eye. So let's see. The Witch Down the Lane Tree of Life Altar Board. Oh my god, it is beautiful. They did such an amazing job. Celtic Tree of Life laser engraved altar board on a five inch pine. The Tree of Life is a fundamental widespread myth, myth theme or archetype in many of the world's mythologies, religious, and philosophical traditions. It is closely related to the concept of the sacred tree. Connecting to heaven and the underworld and the tree of life, connecting all forms of creation, are both forms of the world tree or cosmic tree and are portrayed in various religions and philosophies as the same tree. That is really cool. It is so beautiful. They did an amazing job. Blue, you can't lick that. Sorry. Blue's trying to eat things that he shouldn't. Anyway, this is beautifully done. Oh, I am absolutely in love with it. I got to find the perfect spot for it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so next up we have the Hawthorne Herb. So that is, the element is fire and the planet is Mars. Hawthorne is a sacred tree in many pagan religions. 
The blossoms called mayflowers are used in spring celebrations. The maypole is traditionally made of hawthorn or decorated with hawthorn flowers. As the tree is sacred to fairies, one must ask permission before taking the blooms and, or sprigs and must certainly leave an offering when cutting down a whole tree. Placed around doors and windows, hawthorn will prevent people from entering your home in an astral state. Nice. It will also prevent spirits from entering a place. Planting hawthorn around other trees or near your home is said to protect them from lightning strikes. Oh, that's cool. Planting it as a hedge around your home will keep out unfriendly spirits. Adding hawthorn to an amulet will protect you from spirits and harmful magic. Oh, that's cool. So this is a very protective of like people and spirits coming into your space that you don't want them to. I wonder if we can buy hawthorn trees around here. I wonder if they grow around here. Anyway, these are really nice. I'm loving it. And I think I might sprinkle some around my house. So next up, we have Balm of Gilead. Gilead? Gilead? I don't know. I'm going to say Gilead, but I could be wrong. The oil made from the buds is a natural antibiotic and anti-inflammatory. Wow. Sorry, that was really hard. Helping, helpful for muscle soreness, headaches, arthritis, carpal tunnel, psoriasis, eczema, bruising, and swelling. This balm is vegan and 100% natural. Use on problematic or sore skin as needed. Hmm, I wonder if this would work for like, um, like chafing. I have a really big thighs, so summertime and my thighs are not friends. And I wonder if it would help with that. Anyway, this is really cool. Let's see how it smells. Let's give it the old smelly smell test. <sighs> yes. Luna, do you want to smell it? You're asleep. Hmm. Smells quite nice. Um, I don't, I don't know. I, uh, yeah, it's beeswax, cottonwood, olive oil, bud extract, cedar wood, vitamin E, and soy lectin. Lectin. Um, yeah, it actually smells quite nice. I don't know. I can't put my finger on the smell, but it smells quite nice. I very much enjoy that. So that was Balm of Gilead. So next up we have the Dryad Incense. Used during plant or tree magics in druid workings and to honor nature and changing of seasons. Burn on charcoal discs in a heat-proof dish or cauldron. Used in well-ventilated space, this loose incense contains birch, oak, ash, willow, cedar, brandy, and pachali. I can't say that word correctly, patchily. Anyway, uh, I guess it's very tree, like tree-ish. Let's smell it. Oh, wow. So that is what it looks like when opened. Definitely looks like pieces of trees. Ooh, definitely smells like a forest, but also you can smell that brandy for sure. Blue, don't chew on that. Sorry. Anyway. You can definitely smell, like it does kind of smell like a forest if a forest had drank some brandy. <laughs> that sounds really strange, but you can definitely smell the brandy in there, but it does smell foresty as well. Next up, we have the Forest Witch Candle. It's a soy candle. Hand poured soy candle, scented a blend of a ball, ba, bleh, oh God, balsam, balsam pine, aromatic cedar leaf and juniper berries topped with oak moss barks birch and patchouli there's that word again <laughs> always keep your candles burning on a heat safe surface not to be left unattended hmm. well so there's no special like okay it's just a candle that's cool uh let's smell it because you know i really love to smell things this is what it looks like. It's a very pretty blue. Like a bluey green. Ooh, it smells nice. It smells like cinnamony. Is there cinnamon in here? I don't think so. It smells like cinnamon like. It's very pretty. I really like the smell of it, and I am going to use the crap out of it probably. So yay, it's so beautiful. That's the forest witch so we can.
Okay, next up we have, okay, Blue, I know those candles, that candle smells really good. We gotta get out of here. Sorry. Next up we have the Druid's Grove perfume. A natural perfume roll-on featuring trees of a sacred grove. Cedar, birch, apple, and fir oil join pieces of white willow bark and cedar bark. Hmm, cool. It looks really pretty. I'm gonna find out how it smells. Hmm. Yeah, you can definitely smell the apple in there. So you definitely smell the apple oil. That's all I kind of am picking up on. It's a very like toned down smell. Like it's not a super strong smell, which is kind of nice. Um, but it is a very nice smell when you can smell it. So next up we have white willow bark, Salix Alba tincture. Uh, where is the thing? There we go. Also known as white willow, tree of enchantment and witch's aspirin. Once, uh, once of the seven sacred trees of the Irish, a druid sacred tree. The willow is a moon tree sacred to the white lady. It groves where uh, considered, its groves were considered so magical that priests, priestess, priestesses, and all types of artisans sat among these trees to gain eloquence, inspiration, skills, and prophecies. Very cool. And if I do remember correctly, oh, it's out of focus. There we go. If I do remember correctly, um, this is also, you can use this in the uh, spell, this part of the grimoire page. So very excited to do that. Um, excited for uh, inspiration, skills, and prophecies, and eloquence. La la la. Let's see how it smells. All right, I don't really smell anything. <laughs> But it's really hard to smell this for some reason because like Luna's head is right there and I don't want to drip on her. But anyway, uh, that's the white willow bark tincture. Last but not least, we have the rough tree egg. The element is earth and the planet is mercury. The stone is pur purported, oh my god, purported to have the power to cure poison, especially from bites and stings, soothe the mind, prevent the spread of disease, Calm rough water, weather, that says weather, not water, oh my gosh. Promote eloquence, help ensure the goodwill of others, and grant victory. Well, I'm going to have a buttload of eloquence after this. Placed on the head of a sleeper, agate induces fantastic dreams. It is also used in charms for love, mental clarity, and good luck in card games. Oh, I need this. We play a lot of card games like at my parents' place and my dad is super duper competitive. Actually, my sister is too. Anyway, they get super de duper competitive. I'm never competitive. Oh, Peaches is here too. Just kidding. I'm competitive. Anyway, uh, so I could definitely use this. The tree agate stone can be used in Celtic or Druid magic due to the importance of trees and nature in the Celtic lore and the Druid tradition. I love tree agate. I actually have a beautiful tree agate tower that I'm pretty sure I got from Hagswig last year. It's so beautiful. Like, I just love all the green in it. Oh, it's so beautiful. And uh, dream gives you fantastic dreams. Well, Luna is sleeping right now. Have fantastic dreams, my baby. There. Now I hope she has fantastic dreams. Anyways, that, that was the rough tree agate. Well, that's it for this unboxing. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Man, May, this box is so nice. I really enjoyed all the items. My favorite, my like top favorite items though have to be the altar piece or altar board and the tree, the rough tree agate. I do love them. That candle smells beautiful. That incense also smells really good. The balm, I can't wait to try. Um, the perfume will be nice as well. Can't wait to sprinkle this hawthorn around. And I can't wait to use this tincture in the um, part of the grimoire page there. That spell you can do. It's like a tree meditation. Anyway, I'm really excited. But I have to go now. I do have a sleeping baby that I have to lay down. And uh, yay, <laughs> time for myself. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like if you would 
or leave a like if you would like to leave a comment down below because you know I love to hear from you. Uh, what is your favorite item in this box? It was definitely an awesome box. Like they're all amazing pieces. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to. You don't have to if you don't want. Um, to all my subscribers that have subscribed now, thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate your support. And uh, I think I am at 224 right now, which is amazing. I didn't think I'd have that many subscribers. So thank you so much, you guys. You're the real MVPs here. Anyway, I have to go. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in another video. Good day.